Hi, my name is Frank. I'm Sherry. Welcome back to Sundays and Channel 33 RPM, your channel for vinyl gear and more. Look at this for the second time this month. Yay! Sherry, Mrs. Channel 33 RPM. Welcome back to the show, Sherry. Thank you for having me. Love having you here. Thank you. So, once again, because we have fun doing these kind of videos once in a while, I let, I, no, I let, I can't let Sherry do anything. Let's she, me out of the house. She does what she does. Sherry went snooping through my record collection. Actually, I didn't. What? I did not snoop. Okay. I reached and I grabbed and I stuck them in a pile and I don't even know what's in here. Oh, just totally I, random? Totally random. Okay. So, you might get like seven ACDC records all in one. So we'll see if this is something that I will try again or if we just- Well, did you grab them from all the same cube? No, they were like all okay. over the place. So let's see what Sherry pulled, random records, and we're gonna, we're gonna discuss them. Let's and discuss. I may not discuss because <laughs> I may not know anything about these. Let's check them out. Channel 33 RPM. So in my adventure here, I'm just gonna pick one out. Oh, don't damage it. Okay, there we go. First record. Oh my gosh. What is it? Judas Priest. Judas Priest. Of course, I, I'm going to get like some big names because you've got like huge sections devoted to some yeah. some bands. So I'm going to well, get some. Well, this is funny because I literally just showed this exact same record in a video. Oh. Because this is a still sealed vintage 1980, I'm guessing, educate guess, 1981 copy this album was released. So, and it was still sealed as as of your last video, right? Yep, yeah, yeah. And it is still sealed now. Yeah. I have a small collection of still sealed records. If you missed that video. I grabbed one. Leave a link there. It's not my favorite Judas Priest album. Um, it's not even close. It's kind of an oddball, but I've come to appreciate it more over the years. I always kind of considered it British Steel Part 2, but not quite as good as British Steel. And uh, the album cover is horrible, but um, Sherry, you've never seen this album cover before. What do you think? Is that paper? It's a sheet of computer paper in the in the desert. I'm assuming there's like some like stick it to the man meeting or like. I don't know what it means. Here. What are we doing here? There's actually a different cover in the UK. This was the North American version of it. So Judas Priest, point of entry. Next one. Oh my gosh, we're rocking with the hits. That last album was from '81. I think this one is from 1981 as well, but I could be wrong. 1980. Okay, I was a year off. Oh, Def Leppard. Def Leppard on through the night. This was their full length debut album. And uh, this was when Def Leppard was still really a rock band, much in the vein of ACDC at the time. And this was produced by Mutt Lang, I believe. Was it? No, this is produced by Tom Allum, who would actually go on, who not, also was producing some Judas Priest albums. Uh, Rock Brigade, Hello America, um, Wasted Rocks Off. This is raw, early Def Leppard. Have you heard this album before? I don't think I have. The album, actually, the picture, it doesn't even, if that wasn't there, I wouldn't have known who had who it was, so no. Interesting, they were a British band. I've never noticed this before, but there's a North American and more likely a US license plate on the truck. So that they're really targeting the, the US audience, um, obviously. Um, Def Leppard. What do you think of Def Leppard? Oh, I like Def Leppard. We got to see them. Yeah. That was awesome. Pour some sugar on me. This one. You probably have more to say about this yeah, one I than I do. This Minds. is uh, Simple Minds, Once Upon a Time. What do you. I actually don't know much about this album. I don't know much about where did you get the album? Then I uh, probably got it at um, the Goodwill store. I I wouldn't I probably wouldn't know the album just to see it, but I like Simple Minds. Like I like Don't You Forget About Me. It's not on here. Is that wait? Is that simple? That is Simple Minds, isn't it? I'm not sure. But just delete that part then if it's not Simple. No, I'll show it. With the I'm pretty sure that's Simple Minds. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's on here. Live and kicking, and I wish you were here. Those are the two I'd like off. That's there. funny. You um, pulled up record on my collection that I probably got a decade ago and oh, full confession I don't think I ever listened to it and I've done purges of my collection and for some reason this one flew under the radar where when I do a purge I either if I come across a record I'm not familiar with on my shelves or I bought you know at a thrift store for a good deal I never listened to it I'm doing a purge I find that record I, I listen to it and decide whether to keep it or not, but I never did for this one. So this one's gonna get a spin pretty soon. I'll figure out what to do with Simple Minds. 
Once Upon a Time. Oh, good one. This is Gary Clark Jr. Oh, this yeah. land. We I like Gary Clark yeah, Jr. Yeah, yeah, we're big yeah. fans of Gary Clark Jr. We were listening to this all last summer. Yeah. And he is sort of blue. Well, he is blues, a little bit of rock, even some maybe some elements of hip hop in there. Yeah. Um, oh man, this album is so good. It's really good. The title track, What About Us, I Got My Eye On You, I Walk Alone, Gotta Get Into Something, Gotta Get Up, uh, Pearl Cadillac. Oh man, this, if you're not familiar with Gary Clark Jr., you yeah, have you to. You do. You have to listen to him. Like, even if you like pull him up on Spotify and listen to like his top songs, he's really good, really worth listening to. Yeah. And this album came out in, oh man, my eyes don't work. 2019, Gary Clark Jr., This Land. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. What is it? The Dregs. Yeah. You know what's interesting? Know about them. <laughs> this record, I think, was sent to me by Jim. Yeah. Who, in the Friday mailback segment you recently shot okay. with me, also sent some stuff over. So, how is that? This was with uh, Steve Morse. Um, um, plays guitar on here and Rod Morgenstein, funny enough, Rod Morgenstein, this fantastic drummer, he went on to play in the 80s hair metal band Winger. Um, but this is really good. I don't even know what you would call it. Instrumental, jazzy, rock kind of stuff. This came out in 1981 as well. We got a lot of early 80s records here. So I gotta give this one a spin again. Um, not a fan of this album cover. Comments? Well, I'm sure it's some type of a message that they're sending because of course, well, all of their mouths are covered except for the guy that's got a big beard. And they got no clothes on. And they got no clothes on, so I'm not too sure. Uh, what's this? Unsung Heroes. I don't know what it means. So not too sure what it's um, in homage to, but... Maybe a reference to the fact that it's instrumental? I have no idea. Oh, might be. It's instrumental and it's stripped raw. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, cool pack, the dregs, unsung hero. Okay. Oh my gosh, one of the best albums ever. <laughs> Do I win a prize? <laughs> this is Black Sabbath, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. Um, this is um, early Black Sabbath. I remember as a kid, this album artwork scared the hell out of me. When I say hell, I literally mean it. A lot of stuff going on. There's a lot to absorb. Yeah. It was like someone's dream yeah, of being attacked like from, by Satan. It looks like from the back that he's having some type of a dream there. Yeah. Right? And Anyway, the, the riff to Sabbath Bloody Sabbath just makes this whole record. It's not my it's actually not my favorite Sabbath album. Um, but any of that early um, Aussie stuff is great. Killing Yourself to Live, Sabra Cadabra, um, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. I mean classic through and through. Good picture, eh? Yep. There's a lot to unpack in this one. That person got a tail? Yeah, it's the devil. It's the devil. Okay, I think this might be the last one. Okay. It is, well, UFO, you're turning out the hits. I think this one is also like 1980, 1981. What year did this one come out? Uh, no, 1977, okay, I'm wrong. Uh, UFO classic uh, 1970s hard rock with Michael Skank Shanker on guitar. Um, Pete Way on, on bass. I mean, this was just a flat out classic 1970s hard rock album that's completely underrated and singing here reminds me i haven't listened to this in years so i don't I'm think gonna... i've ever listened to this no? i don't know you don't know ufo i don't know ufo yeah classic 1970s um hard rock staple band so very cool the cool thing about when you just randomly pull these records just a reminder that man i haven't heard ufo forever i haven't heard that def leopard album forever so this is a fun exercise because it reminds me of some records I have on the shelves yeah. and that I gotta give a spin to again. So we have to do this again, Sherry, because this okay. is gonna give me some stuff to listen to this weekend. Okay, awesome. All right, 33 is that is this week's video. This was fun. You should, if you have a record collection, stuff you haven't listened to in a while, get your partner or friend to randomly pull some records on out of your collection and see what you have there. Mm -hmm. We call it the, the random records. The eeny meeny miny mo. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, you never know what you're gonna find. So thank you, Sherry, for coming on. And we'll do it again very soon. And dear 33ers, until next time, keep, keep on, on spinning. spinning.